It used to be simple and straightforward. Type blocks and type trays, patiently assembled by hand. But with the introduction of word processors and computers, typography can be done anywhere and requires a whole new skill set. What is typography? It's the art or process of printing with type. And I might also add designing with type. It's a combination of art and science, but there are rules in place to encourage consistency in language, readability and legibility, and using aesthetics and design elements to engage readers. Okay, so here we go. The oh, Rules. Thanks. Aside from kerning, letting, stacks, rivers, undulating rag, widows, orphans, primes, proper use of M dashes and N dashes, ampersands, obliques, breaks, and crashes, we also need to consider the color palette, grid alignment, font pairing, use of white space, measurement, spreads and text wrap rules, grammar and punctuation, font selection, and the number of fonts used in a document. It's safe to say that typography goes beyond chasing which font to use. Although fads may come and go, it's best to focus on artistic style. But sometimes you need to break the rules for the sake of visual and artistic impact. Knowing when and how to do that is a skill in itself. The masters know how to learn the rules like a pro so you can break them like an artist.